We continue during this octave of Easter, praying and rejoicing in the resurrection of the Lord. And we gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our failures and our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who have united, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the crippled man who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people hurried in amazement toward them in the portico called Solomon's Portico. When Peter saw this, he addressed the people, you children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us as if we had made him walk by our own power or piety? The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you have handed over and denied in Pilate's, Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this, we are witnesses. And by faith in his name, this man, whom you see and know, his name has made strong, and the faith that comes through it has given him this perfect health in this presence of you all. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets, that this Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away, and that the Lord may grant you times of refreshment and send you the Christ already appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. For Moses said, a prophet like me will the Lord, your God, raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen in all that he may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also announced these days. You are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors when he said to Abraham, in your offspring, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first, God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our, our God, God how, how wonderful, wonderful your, your name, name in all, all the, the earth. earth. O Lord, our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord, Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. 
You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord, Lord our God, God, how wonderful your name in all, all the earth. earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the path of the seas. O Lord, Lord our God, God how, how wonderful, wonderful your name in all, all the earth. earth. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of Jesus recounted what had taken place along the way and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. And you are witnesses to these things, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we walk this week, the octave of Easter, we continue to celebrate the resurrection of the Lord. The beginning of today's gospel has Jesus asking some very stark questions. He asks the disciples, why are you disturbed? Why do you question in your heart what has happened? I think those two questions are questions that touch all of us today in this very challenging time. Why are you troubled? Why do you have these questions in your heart? It's easy to understand why we can be troubled, why we have questions. People obviously very sick, some people dying, people out of work, all kinds of very difficult things during this time. A few weeks ago, when I was saying Mass here in front of the camera, when I listened to the tape, I heard myself singing, which I didn't want to do. I didn't realize how sensitive the microphone was. It was a little thing in a much larger picture. And I think as we reflect during this time of Easter, Sometimes we can get overcome 
by those large things and we don't hear the voice of the Lord. Because as he questions the disciples, he also says to them, I want to bring you peace. I want you to have joy. And that is what we celebrate during this Easter season, as pressing, as difficult, as troublesome the life might be for us during these days. We need to hear that voice which speaks in the midst of all of the travail. I want to bring you peace. This is what I offer you. And so as we gather to, to pray this morning, we pray that for all of us, there be peace, there may be joy, because in the midst of the confusion and pain, we hear the voice of the Lord. It may be quiet, it may be hard to hear, but if we are quiet and prayerful, we'll hear that voice that says, I bring you peace. And now, my brothers and sisters, we call upon the Lord in our need. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, and all who lead the church. They may bring us to a sense of peace and trust. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders, for the responsibility of government during these days, they may do what is right for all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick and for their caregivers, especially those who are suffering from the virus, that they may be comforted and assisted. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for those who have died, especially prisoners here at St. Francis, that they and all that have faithfully departed might rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O powerful and ever-living God, hear these prayers made in Jesus' name, who lives forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And blessed are you, Lord, the God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Be God, be God forever. forever. And blessed are you, Lord, the God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. And let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our, for our good and the good, good of all His Holy Church. Church. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn in hope of your increased help from heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Easter joy, every land, every people rejoices in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, 
heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When, when we, we eat, eat this bread, bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all who serve the church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed be heaven. thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the, for the kingdom, kingdom the power, the power and, and the glory are yours now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. And let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace, everyone. Peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take, you take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. 
have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, word and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Amen. your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. alleluia.